I always believe liking is not loving. Every relationship begins with liking. A good smile, a good appearance, a quality way of lifestyle, presentation of oneself in the most befitting manner. All these are appealing to our eyes. But relationship is beyond that. Moolam samiksha yatra gamyata Sarvesha maga tadhaiva pravarthi Moolam samiksha yatra gamyata Sarvesha maga tadhaiva pravarthi My brothers and sisters and my beloved confreyes, a very hearty welcome to each one of you to the 27th Sunday of the liturgical year. These days we are traveling with Mark the Evangelist to know the nuances of Christian way of life. Two weeks back we learned about the meaning of Christian suffering. Last week we studied with Mark the importance of Christian discipleship and how to achieve the target with Jesus. All these are learned through a journey, a journey of discipleship. Today, Mark takes us to another realm of our Christian lifestyle, the importance of marriage and marital relationship as a covenant and not a contract. We see it in the contextual situation of Jesus' teachings. Today, we understand Jesus is on the other side of the river Jordan, north-south of Dead Sea. And there, he is in the region of Perea, a place reigned over by King Herod Philip. It is here that the Pharisees are waiting for a chance to destroy Jesus again. They knew very well many of their traditions were questioned by Jesus because Jesus always assessed traditions from the point of view of the word of God and not mere external practices. This time they come with a plot again to trap him and thus to challenge his credibility. They ask him the question, is it correct to divorce a woman? The Pharisees already knew very well that divorce is permitted by Moses. The Mosaic law agreed to it. But they ask again this question to Jesus in accordance with the context where he is. He is in the place under the reign of Herod Philip and naturally he was already a divorced man. And if Jesus says that divorce is not right, he is against the king, which would bring the wrath of the king against him. See the way the Pharisees play the game. But Jesus knew very well that he is standing on the ground of God. He says, divorce is not permitted. A relationship that is coming through marriage is a covenantal relationship. A man leaves his house, his father and mother, and joins with the woman. And from now on, they are no more two, but one. What God has said together, let not man put asunder. God has his ways, and Jesus stands by God. Yes, my brothers and sisters, this is a challenging question for many of us even in our times. I was just googling down and seeing what is the ratio of divorce in the world today. The western side of the world has got much higher divorces than the eastern. In India it is one out of hundred. But when we consider the population that we have here in our country even this one out of hundred is a massive number. Divorces are happening very fast than earlier times. Why so? We blame on the material situation of the people. 
the understanding of relationship the flexibility of human relationships are considered in all these are we questioning the credibility of a relationship i always believe liking is not loving every relationship begins with liking a good smile a good appearance a quality way of lifestyle presentation of oneself in the most befitting manner all these are appealing to our eyes but relationship is beyond that i had an experience of participating in a reception of a married couple the mc of the reception asked the boy what is it that attracted you to this girl and he said is her beautiful smile believe me four years after that marriage they got divorced your liking is not loving you must grow from your liking into loving i would like to place before you some of the fundamental aspects of marital relationship presented by a man who lived in the 17th century francis de sales in one of his world famous spiritual classics introduction to the devout life which is written in fact for the lay people he gives a piece of advice to the married couple he says love and love alone is the reason for marriage love is the first feeling of satisfaction at the awareness of good god is the one who brings along this relationship between both of you who are you to set away that good god from your relationship therefore francis de sales would say there are three undeniable facts which are the central aspect of a covenantal relationship in marriage what are they first of all the indissoluble unity between the partners my brothers and sisters this unity is not based on external factors of your appearance but basically because of the understanding that emerges from the depth of your being you accept the other with all his or her limitations as well as goodness when you see trivial and smaller things happening in the life of your life partner are you to say that i'm no more going to live with you we are called to look beyond the externals and to see the possibility of the other and thus accepting the other the second aspect of marriage is inviolable faithfulness at the time of the wedding you hand over a ring to your life partner on which your name is written she carries your name and you carry her name a name that is already engraved in your heart faithfulness to your life partner irrespective of the life situations in which you are is a fundamental aspect of your commitment covenantal relationships can be promoted only when there is faithfulness between the partners and the third aspect of marriage as a covenant and a sacrament is procreation and proper upbringing of the children yes my brothers and sisters this is the third aspect after the indissoluble union inviolable faithfulness when you as husband and wife come together and enter into conjugal relationship if god wills he provides you with the possibility of a child to take care you are partaking in the procreative activity of god by generating children for god children are god's gift in your life therefore remember this covenantal dimension of marital relationship is that which is emphasized by jesus he says you are not on a contract you are on a covenantal relationship the central aspect of this relationship is god himself trust in him and see the possibility of your life partner in loving in union and in faithfulness
God bless your relationship and keep you always united in heart. Amen. Moolam samiksha yatra gamyata Sarvesha margam tathaiva pravarthi